Hello guys, my name's Par and welcome back to another episode of Minecraft Imaginarium. This is my Let's Play series where we're going to be building and creating anything we want to do. So thank you for joining me. So, in this episode, as you might have guessed it, we're going to build something. <laughs> so uh, yeah, let's get started. So first of all, let's just quickly show you. So I'm all moved into my new house over here. And... Um, you know, we've got my furnaces and my chests, and I've got made myself a nice double bed here so we can sleep nice and comfy. And as you can see, my new friend Rocky has moved in as well. So he's um, like, he tends to sleep on my bed next to me, so uh, he's always there. But I think we should at some point make you a little doggy bed of your own, shouldn't we? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Fair enough. <laughs> so as you can see over here, I've been collecting some wood basically. So I've had a little venture around the world, not too far away, uh, which was good. And I've collected uh, practically all of the wood pieces here. The only one I'm missing is jungle wood, which I'll come to in a second. So as here, we've got all the standard ones. We've got birch, oak, spruce, dark oak, and acacia wood. So before, obviously, I only had kind of like oak and birch really around this area but I, I had a wander around and I think all the way over there we had um, not too far away we had the spru uh, spruce wood over there growing that way there was a uh, the biome is it the savannah biome I believe it's called with the acacia wood again not too far away and uh, just I think just quite a way away actually over there uh, there was the um we've got the do dark oak wood growing over there which I, I was a bit worried at first thinking oh i can't find any in this game we're not going to have any and yeah that would have been disappointing but no we've got some in here so we can we can basically build out there so i thought i'd bring the uh, materials back and the saplings so that we can grow them closer to home instead of having to wander out every time to go and get more wood more of the types of wood that we want now back onto jungle wood so as far as the so far, I haven't found an actual jungle biome yet. There's got to be one in this world. There normally is one somewhere. To be fair, on other worlds that I've, created, that I've played previously to the series, myself, is I found jungle everywhere. Like Sometimes it was just practically the whole map was jungle. It was ridiculous. But if I remember correctly, in the bonus chest, I'm sure it must be there because I, I had it in a chest here, like just randomly. I've got some jungle tree saplings, so that's really handy. Um, so let's just pop them down here. Um, so that means we don't have to sort of wander out aimlessly trying to find, you know, jungle wood uh, just to get the sapling. So we have got some here so we can begin growing, you know, the trees closer to home. So what we're going to be doing today is we're actually going to build ourselves a tree farm um, so that we can store, you know, grow the wood in a you know in, in one place and that's where we can store it and come back for it when we need supplies and um yeah so we don't have to keep wandering out into the world so over here i'll just quickly show you i've built a little bridge nothing special but i thought you know we need a little bridge to get over the water we don't want to be jumping swimming every time so like normal people so we cross over a uh, cross over the bridge into this big massive open area which is going to be you know, built up and full of great things as we go along in this series so but for this building that we're going to do today we're actually going to do it over this way um just because i felt you know we don't want you know take up too much space in that area there with the trees that we're going to use for the uh, tree farm so here is the building that we're going to use i've put down the uh the first layer uh basically and this is where we're going to have the tree farm. Now, as you can see, we've got a lot of water down here. <laughs> so it's not really, you know, you can't really put basically uh, the trees in the water, of course. Uh, it's not really going to be good for a tree farm. So what I am going to do later on is I am going to be, I'm going to fill in this pl this whole place, uh, with, you know, with dirt and grass just to, um, you know, just to give us a bigger area. Because I don't think we need this, this area here. We've got plenty of water in this game and, of course... So, and it's only like one block deep, so uh, it's not going to take too long to do that. But as you can see as well, um, some nice surprise here. We've got some clay in this world, which is brilliant. So we've got, got a lot in this area, so that's going to come in handy when we're building things uh, going forward. So what we're going to do then is 
let's carry on with building this. So what I'm aiming to do with this is to make it look like a building. You know, it's, it's a wood wood cutter's building, a lumberjack's building. Um, so we want to make it look like it's been made out of logs, essentially. So we're um, putting these down. So what I wanted to do is I didn't I didn't want to have uh, just it be one type of wood so otherwise it does look a bit too plain so I thought what we're gonna do is mix mix it up a bit um, just to make it look like you know different woods only we're only gonna use oak and spruce I think don't want to use too much otherwise it's gonna look uh, look crazy but we're gonna uh, yeah we're gonna sort of mix it up a bit with the with the logs just to make it look like it's been put together uh, so let's get this uh, let's get this started here so well let's ca carry on with this <laughs> So what we're going to do here is I think we're going to have oak and I want it to look like the logs have been placed on top of each other. So as you can see this one is coming out this way and this log is these logs are going to go on the top here. And come out this way like this. And I realized that one has gone put that the wrong way. <laughs> so let's just change that up. And that one is now standing up. <laughs> oh, these these wood log blocks, or whatever you want to call them. You have to make sure you're in the right position to put these down. <laughs> and um, let's do, yeah, let's put oak along here like that. And then we want put one there so that we can turn it that way. So... These, yeah, these blocks can get a little bit annoying. What is this sheep doing? <laughs> get out of my face! What are you doing? Right, that's what you get. Sorry, but, you know, you're just inconveniencing me, so it's not good enough. <laughs> and, uh, yeah, we want this to go this way. I think uh, it's not quite as tricky as stairs. Stairs seem to be the ones that you have trouble with. Oh, dear, stairs. <laughs> but once you get used to them, it's fine. So we're gonna have, yeah, let's put that like that. So we might change some of these like blocks. I'm just what I want to do is just get the building created. Now we want to put a door in, um, of course. So I think actually we want to put a, I want to put a window in, but hmm, hmm, hmm. <laughs> so I wonder if we put a door. Let's put a doorway here, and then. Let's put a window there, and let's put a yeah. Let's put a double window here. Yeah, yeah, that's fine. I mean, we could have done that afterwards, but <clears throat> I thought we'll just put that in there so I know where I know where I'm going. Right, so we want spruce there. It's not gonna let me place it. There we go. And yeah, we want that facing that, the front one facing that way. Oh, these blocks! <laughs> Need to. No, <laughs> getting all confused with the wood. Like that, and then yeah, we want this to come out this way. And hopefully. Once we've built up this, it's going to look like I intended. Oh, and I think we're running out of spruce wood here. So, I've not got any inventory, extra in my inventory, no. So, I've actually got some spruce trees going over there. So, we go up here like that. And we've got 34. Probably would have been better if I used the the oak wood because I've got a lot more of that as the bottom layer. But no, we've, we're too far gone now. We can't change it now. No, can't be changed. <laughs> too much effort. <laughs> there we go. Right, so this is our kind of building as as it's looking. I think, and I didn't want it to be too symmetrical. I think I wanted it a bit look a bit more makeshift, look a bit, uh, you know. Just so you know, it just it just looks it gives that um, appeal of of what it's supposed to be, rather than just being you know just a 
yeah, purely square, perfect, all the same block building. So, right. So what we need to do is we obviously need to put a floor in there and things like that. But we need to build a roof. So, I bet I'm gonna put a torch down in there just so when we build this roof over. And yeah, definitely not. I'm definitely not going to have enough spruce wood to do this roof. I'll be honest with you. So, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go out and collect some more, get plenty of spruce wood, so this doesn't happen again. So I'm gonna skip ahead, and I'll see you all in a few moments. I'm a lumberjack and I'm okay. Sleep all night and I work all day. <laughs> right. Okay. So I think we've got all the wood we need. Yeah, do you like my little sing song then? <laughs> That's the song. It's called the Lumberjack Song, surprisingly enough. <laughs> by um, It's actually by Monty Python, if anyone knows who that is. Uh, it's a funny song, so you should check it out. <laughs> so let's just head over here. So we've got, how much have we got? We should have quite a lot here. We've got what, 64 there. 64. We should hopefully have enough. <laughs> I'm, I'm just hoping so. Right, yeah. And there's actually, yeah, quite a lot of spruce around there. As you can see, there's a lot of floating uh, leaves. Why is there, <laughs> why are you on top? Whoops. <laughs> Sorry. Uh, right. So we need to build. Yeah. So we need to build our our house. Uh, our house in the middle of our street. Um, we need to. Yeah. This is what we need to do. So we're going to build a roof and didn't really need to. So should we have this come out here? I think that should come out like that. Yeah. So that would come out like that. And I think what we could do is. Hmm. Oh, I need to decide on this one. Get out, boys, with the animals! <laughs> so I think. Um, ooh. Yeah, we need to. It needs. To, I think it needs to come out. It needs to come out over the thing like that, just to make it a little bit more interesting. And I just use. I just. <laughs> oh God! I need to get. I need to get better at this whole thing. <laughs> Putting down the right materials that you're gonna use. You know, it's just. It's just what you should do <laughs> so um <laughs> right i think what we need to do here is put a layer of dirt because i want these fate uh, yeah i want these facing outwards Ooh. Do, 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 do. have we got any more dirt or oh, we're gonna have to put down Gonna have to put some of these blocks. So let's put that down there for now. Okay. All right. So let's just go al along here. Ooh. Oh. Oh. I thought I was gonna say we haven't fell in the water yet, but I was already in it. And right, let's take that odd piece out there. And I feel like we need it to come out the front a bit more. Hmm. Maybe not. Actually, no, I've got a good idea for that. I've got a good idea. So if we have if we have it coming across here like this. <laughs> Can't place it. Well, let me place it over it. Here we go. And do, do, do. and yeah, if we have it coming out like that, that's yeah, that looks quite good. And we'll take away, just tidy that up a bit, like that. And I think what we could do actually, we could make ourselves maybe a little door frame. Yeah. Yeah, 
let's do it like this. Ooh, move those far across as that. Oh, these blocks. Why, why did I choose to build with these blocks? Here we go. I think that's looking quite good, actually. So we obviously want to fill the roof in, make it a bit more triangular. So, hmm, yeah, I think what we need to do, because we don't want to uh, spend too much time in this video not doing much, <laughs> building this house. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to fill in this area here. And naturally, you're not going to want to watch me do that, just placing a load of dirt blocks down. So um, I'm going to, yeah, we're going to do that. I'm going to fill all that in and then fill in, finish the rest of the roof off. And then we'll do the inside of this place and then put down the sort of trees. Now, we're not going to have loads and loads of trees because, you know, we don't want to take up too much room. But we want to have, we need to have decent space in between the trees and so the different types of trees that we've got. So maybe about, maybe five trees each, something like that. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to fill in all of that, like I say. I'm going to finish off the roof. We're then going to come back and put on the inside of this and then get these trees down here so I don't want to make it a really really long video but I do realize that my last video wasn't uh, wasn't that long it was um, a little bit shorter so we can yeah we can compromise and we'll have a, a you know a little bit of a longer episode this time so I shall see you again in a few moments right guys so I've done building the uh, hut that was in the middle of and as you can see it uh, yeah it's, it's come along nicely it's nothing extraordinary but uh, you know I think it looks quite cool for what it's meant to meant to be so we just want to finish off the uh, inside here so I've dug out the floor here so I'm gonna put some um, floor down but very quickly what I'll do is I'll show you as I've obviously covered up all this area that was water before and I've turned it into the, well, created the layout, the grid that we're going to do for uh, our tree farm, basically. So the way I've worked it out quick, very briefly is um, sort of the first layer. Uh, well, there's basically going to be five of each uh, sapling that's going to go in here. Apart from right at the end when we've got the dark oak, because um, I believe you have to use four... Um, that's before saplings basically uh, that you need to create one tree you can't just put one down so and they obviously that's uh, the uh, spacing of it has all gone a bit weird from that so you get quite a lot more uh, from the dark oak anyway so I thought it'd be good just to you know we've only got four of those and the rest of this last bits here this one this one and all down here are the jungle tree ones um, so yeah the rest of them are gonna go um, along this way as do so we've got oak birch or whatever whatever order we want to do it so let's get on with that um so what we want to do though first is just finish off the hut here so uh, i'm thinking what i want to do for the floor is actually put um planks down so let me just get rid of sand and let's put that dirt away so we want some basically some spruce wood planks oh, that's what i'm thinking i want Okay, so let's just pop these down on the floor here. I think it'll just look cool because it's um, it just looks good better for a floor basically. Oh, no, <laughs> they were used up quickly. Um, I can make a load more of these. So let's just fill this in. I think I'm gonna go. I'm gonna run out again. Possibly. Oh, couple short, three short. No, oh, it's going to leave it an odd number as well. So never mind. So we got. <laughs> oh no, it was four. Sorry. Counting up properly. So here we go. We've got all this here going going on here. So what we want to do, I think, is create a little counter. Of course. What, uh, there's a couple of things I want in here, so I want a little counter, so we're going to have possibly like this. Uh, 
Um, is that too big? Nah, I think that was fine like that actually. So, and then like that kind of thing. Just a little counter, just so we can, because uh, yeah, effectively it could be, you know, a shop as well as a, you know, little supply hut. So obviously you're coming in here, you got the sort of thing here. So what I want to put over here though is a. No, I want to put it down this side. Or this side. Where do I want to put it? Um. Yeah, what I want to put down here is kind of like a workbench. So. Let's get some more of these spruce. That should do, I think. And oh no, I know I realised what I wanted to do. Um, oh, actually, I've got a crafting table, so let's just put that down in the corner over here. What am I doing? <laughs> Don't need to craft one. So let's just pop that down there. Um, oh, actually, I mean technically. I'm just going to want to, we're going to want to use this in our uh, thingy. So, let's, uh, do, 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 where are the half slabs? There they are, over this side. So, let's just quickly make some, going all the, going the wrong way around. Um, ha -ha. <laughs> and then, like that, I think, so. Yeah, I think that looks good. Actually, we're going to move the crafting table, I think. We're just going to put the crafting table possibly behind it for the time being. Uh, so we don't need any of those. Put that behind there for the time being. So this is going to be the little workbench uh, for essentially where, uh, you know, getting the trees, chopping them up, chopping, chopping them into bits and bobs. Um, I'm thinking, actually, what we could do is put some item frames up. So we need sticks and leather. I believe I've got sticks and leather. I mean, I want some chests as well, actually, while I think of that. Uh, excuse the massive hole down there. Once uh, during my uh, building of everything, a creeper, I come out of my house and the creeper was there waiting for me and I couldn't get couldn't get out in time. So I just realised what I need to do is I need to have some more dark oak saplings. I don't think I've got... Hmm... I don't think I'll have enough dark oak samplings to fill out what I need to fill out, but yeah, we've got enough. Anyway, we're, we're growing them, of course, so uh, that's fine. Alright, so let's go back. We need some sticks, of course. And we need to make a door as well, I just thought. So we've got plenty of oak wood, haven't we? Yeah, so let's go. Jump over very quickly. Let's make ourselves make three doors. Don't really want three, but never mind. Um, hmm. Oh, actually, just thought. Let's do. Let's dig up that. Collect the wood. And. Oh. Let's make that there, and then we'll put the door there. There we go. That looks pretty cool. And we'll do the same for the other side. So we've just got door like that. There we go. I'm thinking, I'm not sure if I want to put windows in. It just seems like it's kind of like a cabin sort of thing. But I may just put them in just to make it look a bit better. But we'll leave that for now. So let's just pop up here. So let's take this torch down. Just pop that over there for now. And so in here we want to make a couple of... So we want sticks. Let's make a load of those. And crafting table. <laughs> Let's just make a couple of item frames. There we go. Two item frames. We'll put them up there. And what we want to put in there is we want an axe. And uh, yeah. So, hmm. Don't really have an axe. A spare one anyway. Let's put... So we want a sword. I'm going to put a sword in there. Because if you're chopping up wood... I mean, normally you'd use a saw. 
So we'll just make this a sword. <laughs> See what I did there? Yeah, I know I'm funny. No. <laughs> so, right. So, can we make an axe? Oh, yeah. Here we go. Stone axe. When we get some decent amount of iron, we'll be able to replace them up there. I've got a, if you notice as well, I've got an iron sword and I've got a little bit left at my house. I've only got like two pieces left. But I managed to find someone just uh, going around just on the surface. So I just grabbed some of that while I was there. And um, right, okay. So we need a few chests, I would say. Yeah, we're going to need chests, of course, just to. Uh, um, yeah, let's put those a few chests down here for now. Two, three. Ooh. Oh, well, yeah, we'll just do that for now. We can move that around as we all. So, basically, yeah, so when all the trees are chopped down and things like that, we're going to, uh, obviously, it's going to be all brought in here, and then the supplies will be in these chests ready for when I need to take them uh, and do things. So, let's just pop to sleep quickly, because the final thing I want to do, of course, is just get these uh, saplings planted. And, obviously, they're not going to grow in time, I don't think, well... Yeah, they're not going to grow in time before the end of this video, I don't believe. But we'll get them popped down, and then by the next video, they should be fully grown. And we can see that, what it looks like. And I really need to patch up this house. <laughs> so, let's hurry up over here. So, let's get rid of a load of this stuff that we don't need at the moment. Get rid of that. And get rid of that. Put a torch in there as well. So, right, I've got them all in order, and uh, there's a couple, like I said, I need to obviously grow some more to get more, so let's just pop these down. So we're going to put the oak saplings here for five, then put the birch saplings here. Five. Going to put the spruce, and I'm down here, and I'm pretty sure I've got the spacings right from doing it, doing ones previously uh oh i only had four of those so oh no sorry i did have five i'm getting all confused um did i actually put down no i didn't put any oaks so that's fine so we've got we've got here we've got acacias these ones i'm a little bit unsure about but as far as i'm i'm aware they should be fine just putting them as long as you've got i believe it's four spacing between them at least we'll see anyway so this is going to be so we've only got room really to make yeah, one dark tree at the moment, but I've got a couple nearby, so I'll be able to chop those down and get some things from them. So let's just pop this jungle saplings down. Again, I think I've created, because we've only got four spaces for the dark oak, uh, because you get quite a lot of wood from them, I thought I'd make a couple of extra just for the um, jungle ones, just so the kind of the whole layout is in a big square, basically. So, pop them down there, and then, yep, don't have enough again. And so, right, okay, so this is all looking good. Um, I think as well, what we'll do at some point is get ourselves a little nice little wall around it just to make it look a bit nicer. And um, yeah, this is this is looking cool. So, oh, yeah, we go. Look, first tree has grown nice, nicely. So, hopefully, and that's it, the way they're laid out, they should just grow kind of in you know, like that kind of space rather than going all over the place. So that's it for this video then guys. So I want to thank you very much for watching me this time and we've been a bit more productive this time as well. So if you like the video please hit the like and if you are new then please subscribe for more videos in this series and other games as well coming up. So until next time I will see you all later. Bye bye.